Hello YouTube, it's your girl Jane coming at you with another video and as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be about the five fragrances that I have been obsessed with. So if you guys are interested in seeing what scents I've been really into lately and what might even be on my September tray because it's that good, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Alright y'all, so first things first, stop what you're doing, stop, and leave me your scent of the day down below. I would love to know what you guys are wearing today or tonight whenever you are watching this video. Also, if you are new to my channel, hello again. My name is Jane. welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So, if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join the family. And give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from moi now let's hop into today's video because wow these scents they're just doing it for me they're really tickling my fancy so the first fragrance that I'm gonna talk to you guys about of course is my scent of the day again if you have not left me your scent of the day down below please stop what you're doing and do it now I have been really into this scent I haven't been going like too crazy with my sprays if you don't know I am an over sprayer I haven't been going too crazy with my sprays lately because it's still a little bit hot here but you better believe once it starts cooling down more I'm gonna go ham with this one but to my scent of the day and one of the fragrances that I have been so obsessed with lately is Gris Charnel Extrait de Parfum I love the original Gris Charnel like I love it so much but the Extrait it's been doing it for me and I know I promised you guys a comparison video but I did post my BDK house reviews so if you have not checked that video out I will leave that up in the eye in the sky but this fragrance is so beautiful this is a very nice warm spicy fruity scent you also get that woodiness from some sandalwood you get a little bit of a powdery touch as well which isn't too crazy it's just a nice touch to the scent this fragrance is a lot more intense than the original they have the same DNA but this is a little bit just more in your face like it's kind of what I was missing I feel like the original Gris Charnel is a little bit more transparent compared to this one so if you like a little bit of a lighter vibe especially right now that it's hot I think Gris Chanel is the way to go but if you want that intensity the Extrite is the one for you and I really can see a man rocking the Extrite a lot more than I can the original I know a lot of gentlemen like the original but I think the Extrite is the one that's gonna take it up a notch just take the sex appeal up so I really like this for myself I am a very feminine woman but I think that this is a very nice gender fluid fragrance I think it just depends on your personality and how you wear it. Today, I'm feeling very sexy and sensual. I have on a nice little sexy dress with my baby bump showing. And I think that this just kind of fits the vibe. And it's not too hot outside today. So I think it's just a very nice vibe. But again, I've really been enjoying this fragrance from day to day, for nighttime, whatever. This has really been tickling my fancy. This fragrance has notes of, of course, cardamom. It has some fig in there. You also get some vetiver. You get some iris in here. It's just a lot of really good very nice rich notes in this fragrance I really enjoy the cardamom in the opening I love the sandalwood I would say that this is a sandalwood heavy scent and it's just complemented by those other scents this is just a very stunning scent in my opinion I really love this fragrance I think that this is a lifer for me I think I might like it even more than the original but I, lo I love the original too they smell very similar this is just a little bit more intense which is what I was looking for I just really feel like a bad girl when I wear this scent and it just gives me all the feels so this is Gris Chanel Extrait de Parfum and this is my scent of the day and I have been so obsessed with this fragrance as of lately. Next on our list today we have one that is an OG to me. I feel like I've talked so much about this fragrance over the last couple of years and I have pulled it back out and I'm just as obsessed as I was a couple of years ago. So this is Coffee Break from the Replica line at Maison Margiela. This fragrance is just beautiful to me. It's so beautiful. A lot of you guys have told me that you have purchased it and you love it so thank you for trusting me but this fragrance is just oh it's just amazing I just cannot speak highly enough about it this scent is a nice warm creamy slightly spicy scent you also get an aromatic touch from some lavender in here you get a little bit of a resinous touch and some woodiness as well I just really love the coffee in this fragrance it's like the most lactonic creamiest coffee out there like if I had a lavender coffee this would be 
exactly how I would want it. It's just sweet enough, but it has that coffee, but it has that creaminess. It's just perfect. I really, really enjoy this scent, especially when I'm trying to be cozied up, if I'm watching movies, or if I just want to feel comforted and cozy, this is one that I reach for. And if you love coffee scents and you want something a little bit creamier, this is definitely a nice one. But it does have that lavender, so if you're not into that like aromatic touch, you might not like it. But to me, the lavender is not doing too much. So in this fragrance, you get some pepper, you get some coffee. I think there's some milk in here as well, something a little bit creamy. And according to the Maison Margiela website, there's some vetiver in here. There's also some vanilla, so I think that adds to the sweetness. And there's some cedar wood, so it's very nice, very interesting. I think this is very, very, very sexy. It's very sensual. I do find that this is gender fluid, so depending on what your vibe is, what you're going for, this can be a nice addition into your collection if you don't have it. If you can smell it, please do. I really, really think that this is a very nice fall winter scent, a very nice cozy scent, a very nice Netflix and chill scent. And this is an Eau de Toilette concentration, but this lasts a long time. And I love the replica line from Maison Margiela. They have so many great options and they have something for everyone. So this is one of my favorites from that collection and I have been loving this one recently. And this is Coffee Break from Maison Margiela. Speaking of creamy scents, this is one of my favorite celebrity fragrances out there on the market, period. Like I love this fragrance. I have a whole dedicated review on this scent comparing it to the original and I'll link that up in the eye in the sky. And the fragrance is of course Cloud Intense or Cloud 2.0 from Ariana Grande. This fragrance is just a no brainer for me. If you really wanna get your hands on a scent and you don't wanna spend over 100 bucks this is the way to go i believe this retails for about 60 dollars or so at ulta i'm gonna have all the fragrances that i talk about today linked down below so don't worry but this fragrance is just so beautiful i'm just so happy that they did a more intense version of cloud because this is the cloud that i like to wear out like if i go out i will wear this cloud compared to the original cloud the original cloud just reminds me of bedtime you know being cozy dubs just staying in the house this cloud is like I can actually wear it out and it projects like crazy. I've gotten so many compliments on this. I just really, really enjoy this one more as far as like going out with because of how it performs on my skin. It's so beautiful. It does have the same DNA as the original Cloud. So if you smell that one and you enjoy it, this is just a little bit more intense. It's just a little bit more amped up, but the notes are pretty much the same. I would describe this fragrance as a nice, sweet, fruity, like tonic fragrance. It also has this nice powderiness, like this mark marshmallow quality that I really enjoyed. You get a little bit of woodiness. It's just a very nice scent overall. I think it's pretty, pretty balanced and it's not, you know, steering you one way or the other. I think this is just a scent that smells good. I really, really, really have been enjoying this scent, especially for bed personally, because this just gives me some vibes. Like it just gives me vibes. I know I smell good and I like layering this with the body products that I have been wearing recently. I have been feeling so good in my own skin and I just think that you know fragrances really can help you uplift your mood or just give you different vibes that you want so this is one of the fragrances that have been doing that for me I have really been enjoying wearing this fragrance and layering it with other scents and layering it with other body products to get that perfect well-rounded concoction that I want so if you guys are looking for what notes are in this fragrance this scent opens up with some pear you also get some lavender and then as this fragrance dries down you get some praline you get some coconut and then in the base you get some musk you get some cashmere and you also get some woody notes and for me I just really love how all of the scents just play together the ambroxan in this fragrance kind of gives it a little bit of a muskier touch as well ambroxan is something that really projects off my skin and I think that's what helps the performance of this fragrance compared to the original scent so that's kind of why I feel like the intense version is more intense is because of that ambroxan note so if you guys are looking for something that smells amazing that will get you compliments that won't break the bank then this is the way to go I absolutely love this scent and this is a fragrance that I always recommend to people especially if they're on a budget and they want to spend under like $75 this is the way to go so this is Ariana Grande's Cloud Intense next we have a fragrance that I've had in my collection for a while and I kind of neglected but I wore it a couple weeks ago and I have not been able to put it down it has been so good to me and I love how this fragrance makes me feel this is Ani from the house of Nishane I love 100 Silent Ways don't get me wrong I actually 
actually prefer it over this one but this is just such a unique vanilla scent if you love vanilla scents but you want something a little bit different then this is the way to go Ani is a sweet creamy woody vanilla it also has this green aspect which adds to the uniqueness of the fragrance I absolutely love it some people say you kind of get a menthol -y vibe I personally don't and my nose is pretty sensitive to that but some people do get that on their skin but I don't I find that the greenness is not too green it doesn't smell like you're rolling through a bed of grass but it does add that unique quality to the vanilla and the woodiness as well kind of adds a sex appeal to the vanilla that is so beautiful the vanilla is sweet but it's not too sweet to the point where you feel like you know it's cloying or you get nauseous this is just a very balanced fragrance and I love that about this scent I love how it makes me feel this is the type of vanilla that I think is like for adults like this is the adult vanilla this is kind of like in my opinion like a very nice Cabernet wine compared to like a Moscato like you know a lot of people like the sweeter Moscatos like flirty whatever that's how I view vanillas this is a little bit more bold it's a little bit deeper it's a little bit more intricate which is something that I really enjoy and there's a time and a place for this scent so I absolutely love it I love how it wears on my skin it performs beautifully this is an extra day parfum so you are getting a higher perfume oil concentration in this fragrance so of course it's gonna last on you a little bit longer I am just a huge fan of this scent and this house in general and I want to kind of dive deeper into the house of Nishane so if you guys have any suggestions please let me know down below because I would love to check out more from this house now as far as notes goes this fragrance opens up with a lot of spice so you get some pepper and you get some ginger and you also get those green notes that I was talking about so you really get that spice in the green aspect of the fragrance and then as the scent dries down you get some rose and you get some cardamom so you get some more spice but that rose kind of adds a little bit of a feminine touch in my opinion I think it's really sexy on a woman but this is very gender fluid so I know plenty of gentlemen like this scent as well and I think it smells very nice in general but I do think that the rose kind of makes this a little bit more feminine to where it's not too masculine to wear and then in the base you get some cedar wood some sandalwood you get some musk and you also get some vanilla and some benzoin and so you get some sweetness you get the woodiness and you get some muskiness so I just think that the fragrance overall is just very nice it's very beautiful and it has this nice dimension to it that I think is just gorgeous it's gorgeous so if you are interested in a unique vanilla a green vanilla and you want something that's different and not too sweet this is definitely the way to go I absolutely love this scent and this is such a sexy fragrance for a man for a woman for whoever you are this is just perfect so this is Ani from the house of Nishane and last but certainly not least y'all I have a scent that is just <sighs> It's another like cozy comforting scent but it's just the perfect amount of powderiness and sweetness and just warmth. I just love it so much and they re-released it in a new bottle so a lot of you guys I guess you know was telling the house like hey y'all better not discontinue this and this is Princess from the house of Killian. Now I have the older packaging the bulb so they do have the fragrance in a new black bottle so I do like the bottle a little bit more than this because this is kind of annoying especially if you want to travel with it it's basically like impossible <laughs> so yeah but it's a very nice scent so this is a sweet slightly green fragrance you get some marshmallows so you get that sweet powderiness you get a little bit of a like tonic vibe as well I really like the spice that's in the opening I really get it now and it's so pretty I really 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 like this fragrance especially on those days where it's like gloomy outside when I'm just indoors and it's like I don't want to go outside but I still want to smell good that's what this fragrance is for me it's so pretty I don't know if you guys can tell but there's a theme with all of these scents they're sweeter we are getting into more of the cooler time so I love just pulling out fragrances that work in the heat but also work in the colder days as well so yeah this has been just a perfect list for me and this scent in particular when it's very gloomy outside is definitely the way to go for me I love this scent and if you guys like tea scents you would really really enjoy this fragrance this scent is very simple as far as the like composition goes but it just smells really good so you get some ginger you get some green tea and some marshmallows I think there are some other notes in here as well I get a little bit of a woody quality too but overall you really just get that nice like fluffy marshmallow it's sweet 
sweet it's airy but it also has that nice powdery touch to it the ginger gives you a little bit of spice and the green tea adds a nice aromatic touch to the fragrance as well and it really just complements each other it actually is like a green matcha tea so if you like matcha teas just picture that being kind of creamy and sweet with a little bit of spice like this scent man i'm trying to tell you like princess is definitely that girl i really really love wearing this scent i love how it plays on my skin now this isn't a very you know strong projecting fragrance but it does last a very long time and when i wear it i just feel so like feminine and just sexy but in a very subdued way like in a more casual way i can't see this fragrance being dressed up but i really like this fragrance for more casual days again like i said when it's gloomy and you know you're just chilling like you're chilling but you feel good you know you feel good you smell good so this is princess from the house of killian and i have been obsessed so that's all i have for you guys today i hope you all enjoyed today's video because i had so much fun making it and if you are new to my channel i do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me into the end or whatnot and for today's video i want you guys to leave me the sparkle emoji because these fragrances have been doing it for me lately and i've just been so obsessed with them so obsessed so thank you all for watching i love you all so so much and i will see you all in the next one <laughs>